Hey everybody, welcome back. This is an explanation video for all you that are out there trying to figure out what to do for Chase Elliott's new win. Um, because if you're like me, you're getting more than one. Um, so, here's what we gotta do first. First, we gotta find out which finish is better on a specific car. So the three cars you see in front of me here are Casey Kane's Indy win from last fall. Spring, summer, I don't know. It was 36 races ago from that win of Chase Elliott, so it was like a year exactly, actually. But anyway, three different ones. We've got Standard, Liquid, and Color Chrome. So step one is going to be determining which one is better. So here, Standard is, I mean Standard. So this is a flat car. Very basic, simple, you know. Flat paint scheme. Not. Oh my gosh, look at how dirty the inside of that windshield is. I'm going to have to get in there and clean that. Um, you know, but that's a, uh, that's a Standard. So just a flat, plain color. Not, you know, obviously, the it looks like the one that was on the racetrack. So there's not a ton um, of speculation. You know, that just comes down to if Lionel does the paint scheme right. It, it was a metallic purple, which means if they use a fake, glossy, you know, galaxy purple, it'll probably look like crap, but we'll see. Uh, because they're doing a galaxy finish, they probably can't get away with that, but we'll see. So here's a liquid. Still very dark, still shows the black, but it's glossed up a little bit, for one. It's uh, kind of glossed, but there's a, there's a sheer coat. Um, as you can kind of see when it gets over there, it's a very shimmer. It gives it kind of a shimmer coat on top. Um, so it's not quite a chrome, because there's still very black. You know, even, even in the light, it's a black. It's just a, a bright black, or a, a shining black, where it kind of will have that shimmer, and the light will reflect and make it look brighter. But it is still very much a black car, um, when you get that finish on there. I think liquid has always been my favorite, uh, at least especially for colors. And I'll show you in a little bit here because I'm going to show a lot of different cars under these different finishes and show you why, they, why it makes a difference as to what the paint scheme is. And this is chrome. And chrome is a mirror, uh, at least it is on black. So that's just, it's a full-blown mirror. Uh, it's hard to even see in the light, but I mean, chrome is, you know, it's, it's a full-blown mirror. Um, of that car and I'm glad I got this I got this very late I got one of the last ones from Lionel and it was a door number so that was kind of nice I got an elite door number for Casey Kane my favorite driver so very happy about that because I have been never not really in search of one I don't pay extra for them or anything but I always thought it'd be kind of cool so anyway those are those three now let's go to something that's got a little more color to it so let's look at Casey Kane's I have a lot of Kane's so you're gonna see a lot of five cars few 24s and a 9. Um, and the 9 is not Chase, it's another Kane. So uh, so that's Atlanta win standard. Very basic. This is a more of a blue color. So when you get to the chrome, it's a dark, it's a dark blue chrome. You know, the, the chrome is a very dark blue. It's not a, it's not a super bright color. So that's what you're going to see is your difference here. So this is a, what a blue will do. And you got to take his, his purple and think it's going to be kind of close to that, um, even though it'll be a little bit darker, um, but it'll have some bright orange accents. So we'll see, but it should be, you know, definitely not a black, but it should be somewhere closer to this. Um, so that's the standard, that's the chrome. Again, standard is very basic, very, you know, that's the car that's on the track. When you see that car, it reminds you, or it's supposed to remind you of the exact car that was running on the track when he won the race. And then you get to the chrome. Same detail, but you get that dark, dark blue chrome finish on there. Because that chrome does darken the color a little bit. So that's why you end up with a little bit of a darker color into the chrome. And that's why when you look at it, it looks very dark, but it, it is a very nice chrome. The only time it'll really look bluish chrome is if you get it out in sunlight. And sunlight is obviously, with collections, not very common. You know, unless you keep them by a window and use that window to light them, chances are you're going to be using a lot of artificial lighting, which is normal. I mean, you know, an LED or incandescent bulbs or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it is going to look darker without any type of sun reflection or, you know, earth textures to go off of. So now let's get to the color chrome again. This is the 2014 standard scheme in color chrome. See, it's still very dark. This one's clean, so it looks a little bit, you know, it's easier to see that chrome finish on there. So that's chrome on a blue finish. Now let's look at liquid color. 
And now you'll see why Liquid Color is my favorite, in my opinion, for Chase Elliott. I mean, it's it's that that blue, maybe a little bit brighter, but it's got that shimmer. You know, you can see that shimmer in the paint. And actually, this is DIN 95. That's kind of cool. DIN 95 on a Casey Kane. Time to chassis swap it. I don't know. Um, but there you can see it there, that that uh, that shimmer that comes on a on a liquid color. So there you see what it should look like. Now, I'll just slide in the, I don't have his standard 2014 out of its box right now. It's sitting in a, in a storage box right now as I do some shelf cleaning. So there's your standard. So as you can see, a liquid color definitely shows the best color and gives you a little extra finish to it. But don't get me wrong, I think a purple chrome car will look great. I just, in my opinion, I think purple and if you do a liquid, you're going to be safer with it being a, a good finish. Because the chrome only really looks the best on cars that are black, silver, and white. Anything with a color to it, it ends up, you know, usually a lot darker than the actual color. But again, if that's what you want, go for it. But in my opinion, this the liquid color does show the color well. And then on top of that, puts a nice shimmer finish on it to just make it look extra cool. So... Um, that's that liquid color there. Now, that's the three main ones that they do for a lot. Now, because it's Chase Elliott, they're going to do every finish imaginable. And we're going to go look at his Rookie of the Year car, which is a Galaxy finish. So here's a Galaxy car. And you can see a Galaxy you end up as essentially just sparkles way more than you need. A lot of grain in this one. So they put a lot of grain in the paint, make it really, really, really sparkly and shiny. And that is essentially the definition of the Galaxy car. Just sparkle it up. Um, so if you're thinking about the Galaxy, think about the stars in the sky and sparkling it up. So that's what you're after when you get a Galaxy car. You're going to get a lot of sparkles. This is a blue Galaxy car. So a purple one will be a little bit more on the purple side. But in general, Galaxy is usually a bright, almost looks like a faded white version of the paint, and then it's very sparkly. So you're not going to see that true purple. You're going to see like a bright purple with a lot of sparkles in it for, you know, for that win. So wouldn't I didn't get one. Mine are, I got chrome, uh, liquid, and standard. And that's just because I don't know what this galaxy would look like. And raw, I never touch or flash coat because there comes a point where you just need to stop there's too many finishes to get but yeah there you can see all the that finish there that galaxy um looks really good it's like the old vintage not this but vintage was a terrible it was just an old red rusty looking finish looked awful and not a lot of people liked it but um i did i especially didn't like it but there you can see galaxy a lot of sparkles so flash coat Flash coat's going to be very similar as far as sparkles, but you're not going to have any color base to it. So this is a Dale Jr. flash coat. Not even close to red. It's just flat out. It's a rainbow. You can see it as you kind of go through the light. It'll rainbow and have a lot of sparkles. So this one could be cool, but again, it doesn't show any color. So I'm not 100% sure just how good it will look. And again, my opinion, you can see that rainbow effect. It looks really neat. It's a cool finish especially on an all red car being all flash coat. This one will be mostly purple for, for Chase's win there. But you can see that's what flash coat's going to be. It's going to be very rainbow-esque and a lot of sparkles. So on to raw. Raw is going to be, I don't have a raw car, so I'm going to do my best. This is brushed metal. Uh, it's a goldish brushed metal, but it's brushed metal nonetheless. See how it's all, you know, it's a brushed. So raw is essentially the raw metal before it's brushed. So it's going to be very gray and very bland and then there's going to be just a clear coat on it honestly raw probably one of the worst finishes out there it's probably even behind um galaxy and Vin uh, vintage was pretty bad too but it's probably behind those two as well um just because and the only other one i'm going to show you here just for quick comparison there's a byron color liquid color right there there's a standard. So that, again, the liquid will brighten it up and shimmer it. So uh, that'll pretty much wrap it up. Uh, I got about 10 seconds. So leave a like, comment, review. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. We're getting closer on the subscribes. And we'll see you guys in the next video.